Tonight, authorities are trying to figure out what led a teenager to open fire at his high school in Kentucky. Two students were killed, 18 others injured. Night Beat's Elizabeth Cook is in the newsroom to break down the chaos for us. Liz? Veronica, authorities say the 15 year old gunman acted alone. Some students say they ran as far as a mile away from the school as their classmate opened fire. Police say it was just before 8 a.m. when the 15 year old student armed with a handgun, walked into Marshall County High School and started shooting randomly. Everybody started running and stuff. Uh, I saw people getting shoved down. There was a lot of blood everywhere. It just, it was horrible. Everyone that was in the library, once they saw what was happening, we all started running towards the library office. And once we got in there, we just shut the lights off, sat down, locked the doors. Parents rushed to the school immediately. <laughs> It took less than 10 minutes for federal and local law enforcement to respond. The building was put on lockdown. Shaken students were bused to an area middle school to reunite with their loved ones. Marshall County deputies arrested the gunman who remains unidentified. Lieutenant Michael Webb is with the Kentucky State Police. And he was apprehended uh, by the Sheriff's Department here on site at the school, thankfully before any more lives could be taken. One victim, a 15-year-old girl, died at the scene. Five of the wounded were airlifted to Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, where another student, a 15-year-old boy, later died. Governor Matt Bevin. These children belong to this community and to specific families in this community. And this is a wound that is going to take a long time to heal. And for some in this community will never fully heal. Police have not released the name of the shooter, but Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin, as you just saw, says the 15-year-old will be charged with murder and attempted murder. On the Night Beat, I'm Elizabeth Cook.